Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Victory 4x4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install our strike rear bumper on a 100 series Land Cruiser. So to begin our install, the first thing we need to do is get this factory bumper cover and your hitch, if yours is equipped with one, out of the way. To do that, we're going to have several screws up here in each wheel well, as well as four or five underneath. Um, and then once you get all those out of the way, this should just pop a few clips and pull back off. Now with that factory bumper cover removed, you can access all your hitch bolts and get those out of the way if you're equipped with one, as well as the factory step plate that should be mounted right in this area. Unfortunately, ours was already rusted away, so we don't get to show you that. Now once you have your frame torn down to this point, you're ready to begin installing the bumper. If you're gonna be installing lights, now's a good time to do it because it's much easier to access the hardware at this point. If you're going to be installing carriers, now's a good time to install your latch brackets as well. Those are just going to mount in these two holes here and these two holes here. Now with the help of a friend, you can lift your bumper in place and get a couple bolts started. First we'll want to get these two bolts in the bottom of the frame rail started on each side. And you can thread those in most of the way but leave them just a little bit loose so you can still adjust this fore and aft and left to right. Next, you'll wanna install the two bolts in the side of each frame rail up above this brace. And again, leave these loose at this time. All right, if your Land Cruiser wasn't equipped with a factory hitch, you may not have these four mounting holes, so at this point you'll need to mark and drill those using the bumper as a guide. Next, we'll get these back four bolts started. These will do a pretty good job of centering the bumper, but you're still gonna wanna just double check your clearances here on your lift gate and make sure everything looks right left to right before you tighten everything up. All right, with all that hardware loosely installed, just double check that your bumper is centered on the vehicle and you can tighten everything up. Next, we can install our outer wing brace. These are gonna mount with three bolts at the frame and they're gonna angle forward where they will attach the bumper with two bolts. Now you can tighten your bolts up at the frame and make sure this bracket's firmly seated against both the bottom and side face. And then you can adjust your wing position and tighten the outer bolts. Now with your wing brace tight at the frame, you can double check these gaps, make sure everything's lined up nice and neat, make any minor adjustments you may need to, and tighten up the outer end. Now you can come back through and make sure all your hardware is tight. Be sure to torque these M12 bolts to 70 foot-pounds and the 14 mils running straight up into the frame to 110. Now with all your hardware tight, you can come in and install your logo cover plate. If you're gonna be installing carriers at this time, you can go check out our Adventure Carrier video. If not, be sure to install these black plastic caps, both top and bottom with a little bit of RTV sealant to protect that spindle sleeve so that you can install one later. Now you can wire up your lights and that'll complete your install. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at info at victory4x4.com or give us a phone call at 269-459-8447.